Hello, I'm Piers Corbyn of weatheraction.com, long range weather and climate forecasters. And today I'm going to give you Weather Action's essence of winter forecast for December to February 2010 and 2011 for Britain, Ireland and Europe. And this is a sponsored forecast brought to the public thanks to generous supporters. The winter, December to February, inclusive in Britain and Europe, will be exceptionally cold and snowy, like hell frozen over at times, with much of England, Germany, Benelux and northern France suffering one of the coldest winters for over a hundred years, with probably two of the months, December, uh, January or February, uh, likely to being in the three coldest for a hundred years. Now there will be some milder periods in which West Russia for example may also be briefly milder and Ireland especially West Ireland will have uh, some mild or very mild periods when the rest of Europe remains bitterly cold. The timing of the most severe uh, and milder spells and details of festivals such as Christmas and New Year periods will be available to subscribers to the full forecast which breaks the season up into 24 sub-periods, that's eight sub-periods of a few days each for each month. During this time, standard meteorology will consistently underestimate the lengths of these cold periods and will also grossly underestimate the severity of blizzards and snow deluges at times. And we, in weather action, in these instances, will issue advance warnings of these errors which will come in standard meteorology to help save people unnecessary disruption. Now, despite the efforts of the authorities to prepare, we think it's very likely that the UK will run out of road salt this winter for the third winter running. Now, we hope that this winter and this forecast, which relies on a scientific understanding of the connections between the sun and the earth uh, using our slat technique um, uh, which of course is nothing to do with CO2 but we hope this forecast and its sponsorship will encourage politicians to get a grip on reality and end their support for the CO2 theory of man-made climate change which is failed science based on fraudulent Data. It's nothing to do with science, it's a political activity. And I want to thank our sponsors that have made this possible. There are some anonymous ones, and the ones who wish to be named are Stairway Press, Wild and Company Solicitors in Cheshire, England, and uh, Gabe Reichart of Climaterealist.com. And others are welcome to sponsor, and they can remain anonymous if they so wish. Now what we hope by having this sponsored useful forecast is that it will lead the way for governments, state media and local authorities to make better use of the scientific advances available for the public and taxpayers. An essence of winter forecast could also be issued for the USA if sponsors come forward. Thank you.